Welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video, guys. My name is Patrick, aka Cheap Pat, and today we're going to be hopping into a brand new Let's Play Clash Royale episode where I have a couple of chests to open as well as an upgrade to do. And let's go ahead and start that off right now. So, over the weekend, we got the clan battle chests, which we're going to go ahead and open right now, as well as I do have a crown chest and a big upgrade to do inside of our deck. So, starting off with the clan battle chests, we're going to get some gold, we're going to get some barbarian huts. I know that they increased the amount of wins it takes to get the clan battle chest, by the way, and unfortunately, they didn't increase the price with that which is pretty disappointing i would hope we would get better prizes uh, but unfortunately they just ratcheted up the amount of wins that you needed we're gonna get some arrows some fire spirits some skeletons i was hoping for a legendary as i always do but of course we're guaranteed like three epics so we're gonna end up getting the skeleton army which isn't bad because that's a card that we do use but uh, it's still pretty far away from getting the level five anyways that's gonna do it for our clan battle chest and uh, let's go ahead and head to our crown chest right now and open up what we've got. All right, now crown chest isn't as juicy. We're going to get some gold, some gems, some ice spirits, zap. Man, these crown chests are really depressing once you have these higher card levels to get to. The bomber, not even an epic. And uh, finally, we do have a big epic upgrade to do inside of our deck. So we've got the executioner, which we can get up to level four, which is what I've been requesting. I still don't know exactly if, you know, this is the best deck for me. It still doesn't work perfectly. Um, of course, I am facing people like one and two levels above me, but it's been a little bit frustrating recently. I've been on a little bit of a string of losses, so hopefully we can turn it around today with some victories. And starting off against Juice from Mexican Power, this starting hand is not very good at all. In fact, this is one of the worst starting hands we can possibly get. So guess what? I'm going to go for an aggressive skeleton army. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that before. And uh, he's going to go ahead and use his Goblin Gang. I'm going to use a Lightning against this Elixir Collector. I just don't want to deal with it, to be honest. And uh, because we're doing that, let's use our Tombstone as well as our Zap to clean up these Goblins. His Spear Goblin should die. And all in all, this is going to be a pretty decent trade for us. Uh, I was sort of hoping he would use his Zap right there. But in the end, not going to be too shabby. Of course, he does have the Elixir Collector, which we've got to be on the lookout for. Uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and get ready in the moment again with my Golem, maybe? Depending on what he's going to do. Let's see how we want to play this. Now, he has a golem as well. So, how do we want to play against his golem? I'm actually going to play my own golem. I'm going to go for the uh, counter golem strategy to see if we can pull this one off. Hopefully, my golem will tank against his backline units, and then I can kill his golem faster than he can kill mine. It's mano e mano with the golems. And uh, he hasn't played anything yet. He's going to play his witch really far back. So, I'll use my skeleton army immediately, as well as my mega minion, and then my tombstone to stop this golem. He's going to have his witch just continually sit there and smack my golem down. Eventually, my golem will pop. His golem's going to pop right now, too. Um, and as this witch... That was a really dumb zap by me, because my golem was going to explode and kill the skeletons anyways, but I was hoping to get one additional golem hit in. But, of course, things would never really work out as planned. And uh, we're going to have a little bit of an HP lead, but really, we are... Uh, we're definitely going to have to to work this one out right now. And this Hog Rider is going to go down, do some serious damage. But I really just can't afford to spend any more Elixir on defense. So I'm just going to take the damage. And he's already got another Golem down. This is looking particularly ugly. All right. Well, I'm just going to hang out. And I've got my minions in a second. But these minions are obviously extremely early. My... Mega Minion's going to be a little early. I've got the Tombstone right now. And what does he have to back up this Golem besides the Witch? I'm hoping to get some good value out of this Lightning Spell. And he's instead going to do this. So I'll play my Skeleton Army here. I've got my Executioner right here. I'm not actually going to end up playing my Lightning Spell just yet or ever. But uh, finally, he's going to drop his Hog Rider on the other side of the map for a, a pretty interesting play. And uh, he, gave up an he gave up a huge lead on this other tower. Now we can get ready to drop our Golem in a second, and hopefully we can get a nice push going. Okay, so Golem's going down here. We've proven that we can defend against this Golem, and we're going to kill his Witch, hopefully, right now with this little push right here. One more Executioner swing will kill that Witch. That's actually really crucial for us. Let's drop our Tombstone right now. We've got our Executioner ready in a moment. And I feel like we can outplay this guy if we play this just right. Especially now that he's dropped his Elixir Collector. Lightning Spell going down. Interesting little play like right there. But now we can play our Mega Minion. Does he have any defenses? He has the uh, the minions right there. And uh, instead, I'm just trying to defend the best that I can. His Hog Rider's going to go down. Golem's onto the tower. He's really just trying to distract me the best that he can. But with my Lightning Spell, hopefully we can do a little bit more work. Keep the Executioner alive. Just maybe the Executioner is going to get a hit in. That tower is so low. And that's going to be the end of the battle. Woo! I didn't know we were actually going to pull that one off. I was trying to have neg or positive thoughts the entire time, but after going on a bit of a losing streak, it's really hard to do that. But fortunately, we were able to squeeze out a win. Somehow, someway, we were negative on Elixir pretty much that entire battle. 
But let's get into battle number two against Rod from Brazil. All right. Well, we escaped away with that last victory. Um, we got to be a little bit careful in this one. Golem placement, obviously, is aggressive, but he's got the Lava Hound. So we have some good Lava Hound counters, but who knows how, if we're going to be able to pull him off. Okay, so he's going to play a Tombstone. We'll, of course, counter with our own Tombstone. His Tombstone does have a level on ours, so our Skeletons will die to his one-on-one. -on -one. Very, very unlucky. We'll play our Mega Minion right now to start doing work. He's got some guards. I guess I'll zap the guards. It should be enough to help deal with what he's doing. And uh, meanwhile, my tombstone's doing work. Minions to deal with his balloon. And we should have a nice little lead right here, depending on if he has arrows or not. He doesn't have arrows to help his balloon out. Or, or they're going to be extremely late. I got to hit him with a well played right there. That's going to mean minion damage on the left hand tower and on that right hand tower. There's a little skeleton smudged in between those golemites as well as the mega minion. That's going to be tower number one. He's not even going to play defense. He's simply going to concede that tower. And then that's going to put us in a super good position going into the rest of this game. So a little bit sloppy of a lava loon from my friend Rod right here from Brazil. That's going to put us in a really nice lead. I do have my executioner to deal with the lava hound. Again, this deck is actually really good against lava loon, which is perfect for us. Because uh, obviously Rod is going to be playing it this entire time. Let's get ready right here with our executioner. Maybe I should have played my lightning spell instead. That but might have been a little bit crazy of a of an executioner play. Our, our Mega Minion will turn around, though, and make sure to kill what he's got right here. I've got a Tombstone to help. His guards are actually going to get distracted before doing anything. And uh, meanwhile, let's get ready with our Skeleton Army. Guards are attacking my Executioner. My Executioner did just turn level 4, and look at the... Uh, Look at the play right there. He actually was using the clone spell, and I played a zap. I don't know if I needed to play the zap, but that's still going to give us a nice little defense right there. And with a minute and three seconds left, let's see if we can hold on to this victory. He's obviously going to be coming at us hard. He is going to be going crazy in this battle, so I'll get ready with my Executioner. I'm expecting a Lava Hound, and then maybe the... Uh, Maybe the Inferno Dragon, so everything's going down here. I'll play my Mega Minion in a moment. Let's go ahead and lock onto this Balloon. Tombstone's going to help out. Wait, Tombstone. Tombstone! Tombstone, please! I thought the Tombstone would help out. Oh, my minions are just going to die right here. Ah! That is uh, unfortunate. Unfortunate right there. We're going to take a ton of damage. This Lava Hound's going to go down. Remember, do not kill this clone with the zap spell or else it would have just demolished me so instead i played the executioner to just wipe up everything but this does put us in lightning spell range though so keep that in mind we are in lightning spell range which of course is a huge pain okay so here goes the executioner play the lightning spell before i cry please there we go kill that right there golem has gone down minions are going down here can we make a push right now he's gonna play his lightning spell but of course that is opening us up to go crazy he does have arrows i'm surprised that he hasn't played those yet he's probably spamming his screen as fast as he can he still has not played his arrows and my golem is beating that tower down i think that should be game number two another victory Woo! that was uh that was another interesting one lava hound Balloon clone is a, a thing of nightmares if played correctly, but fortunately we were able to avoid any catastrophic damage and that gave us win number two. All right, we're doing a decent job. Maybe just playing on camera. When I've been playing off camera on this account, I've been getting slaughtered, but when I record for a video, for some reason I've been doing pretty well. Hopefully we can parlay that into win number three in a moment. Another super aggressive goal in the very beginning means I need to have my Skarmie ready. I almost just played it on accident because I do have cracks on my iPad screen. So for some reason on this account, I always misplay compared to on my main account. Usually usually on my main account, I don't have as many slip ups, but if you guys have seen those like terrible lightning uh, clips that I've had where I just completely butcher lightning spells that normally comes from this. And man, if I had my lightning spell right now, this would be such a free game. And instead, we are just gonna have to go ahead and get ready with our Zap to help deal with this Inferno Dragon. Inferno Dragon's actually gonna turn to the minion. That was super fortunate. And because of that, the Golem, my minions, everything is doing work. Executioner's even gonna get some damage off onto the tower. And a pretty perfectly played beginning. PPP something, B? Anyways, that's gonna be super good. And we can just go ahead and get ready with our Skarmie to deal with this Musketeer in a moment. And yeah, nice little start to the game. We have a pretty good lead. His poison spell was interesting. I think he he knew we might have been playing the skeleton army, but I don't. He was trying to get some tower damage with the poison spell. Who knows? That was I've never seen a musketeer poison spell combo. Uh, so that's going to give us another set of elixir advantage. And meanwhile, the hog rider is going to go down tombstone. A little bit of an interesting placement. Fireball is actually going to miss though, and my skeletons are getting distracted by my own golem. So we're going to have to get ready in a second with our mega minion he's probably gonna play his furnace i'm guessing or the inferno dragon 
So let's see what he does, but he might just sit there because he is going to be taking on some serious damage in a moment. Look at the one skeleton beating that tower down. Zap to deal with the skeleton army. Bye-bye to the skeletons. And that's going to mean tower number one. Maybe I can hit him with a good game in a second. Hopefully this makes him quit. It's a little bit of a it's a little bit of a tactic where you say good game a little bit early and try to get him to quit out of the game. It looks like he's going to play his musketeer defensively. I don't think we're going to have someone who's given up on us. So let's see. Now he's going to play his Valkyrie on defense. Okay, he's going to be no fun for us. So we will have to defend. Let's get ready with our tombstone. He's playing. Looks like he's playing the uh, trifecta deck. And I'm just going to play another golem. Why not go for three crowns? Let's see if we can make it happen. He's going to play the poison spell, which will kill our tombstone fairly effectively. Skeletons will come out, though, and help do a little bit of work, and that's actually going to lead to him doing zero damage with the Valkyrie or the Hog Rider. So a not too shabby of a start of the game. I'll play my Executioner a moment. Here's a Lightning Spell to deal with this giant cluster of stuff that he has right here. That's going to work perfectly. And meanwhile, I've got the Minions. I've got the Zap Spell. That's going to deal with this Inferno Dragon. And maybe, just maybe, we can get our way there, but he probably has the Skeleton Army in a second. And that's going to be super effective against our golem. Let's get ready. Let's see if we can drop a good game. Please just end the battle, man. Just let me get the three crowns and stop being such a jerk. Lightning spell going down. All these skeletons going to try to do work against my golem. The pop happened. The executioner is going to miss his swing, though. Uh, we're only going to get one crown. Well played against Douglas, guys. Crushing victories. That was super good. You know, I was just tilted so hard before recording this video. I was like, man, I keep losing all my battles. It's not going very well. But, you know, positive mindset, kept positive thoughts in my head. And that led to us getting three straight wins uh, using this deck right here. So good stuff. Executioner level four definitely made a difference. Obviously, those chests helped me get up a little bit higher. But still, I'm really looking to switch up my deck sometime soon. I feel like I've sort of reached a breaking point at like 3,500 trophies where I'm really not going to go much farther with these card levels. So maybe I can change it up a little bit soon. But uh, yeah, that is going to do for this Let's Play episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. By the way, if you guys aren't aware, the poll ended last night for my haircut. And it looks like we're going to be getting an Electro Wizard shaved into the back of my head. That is going to be a lot of fun. The haircut is on Wednesday. So I can't wait to show you guys that video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.